It is an enormous pleasure to introduce him, Faye Jones of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Sacred Spaces, The Architecture of Faye Jones is a documentary about an architect and his work. And, and more than his work, it was about his life and about the relationships that he developed as a architect, as a professor, as a dean of a college, uh, and as somebody who, who came back to his home state because he felt like that's where he could do his work. And the filming of it, uh, how do you make architecture look as attractive uh, on video and film as it looks when you're standing there looking at it? And how do you do justice to this great man's work? Photographing a documentary about a, an architect is, is kind of scary because you realize when you walk into the buildings that Faye Jones designed that there's no way that a video camera is going to be able to portray what it's really like to walk through those spaces. It's a building type I'd never done before and it felt like, always felt like I'm kind of a cathedral builder born 500 years too late, I often say, and uh, here was maybe an opportunity that I maybe ought to explore. So this being a, a meditation chapel, a non-denominational meditation chapel, there should be some kind of transcendental feeling. There should be some mystery to the thing. You know, certainly there were challenges along the way, but I think what, what really steered us when we produced this film is that we were captivated by Faye Jones. We were impressed by his architecture, and as we progressed through the film, we really got into it about as much as we'd ever gotten into any story that we'd ever worked on together. You want to honor the, the man and with the visuals, and so uh, the challenge was just trying to compromise and come up with a style that would, would capture the buildings in a way that people would maybe begin to understand how great they are. The clearest manifestation we have of any higher order in the universe seems to be what we observe, what we sense, what we feel in nature. Somehow we seem to get very special feelings and, and think on a higher order of things when we have that kind of atmosphere. I find it inspirational to uh, uncover interesting stories, captivating stories, sometimes unusual or curious stories, that intrigue me, make me want to find out more about them, and uh, are stories that most people don't know anything at all about. My inspiration comes from the story and from the people that you meet when you're, when you're doing a documentary. You realize how passionate they are about what they're doing and their passion kind of rubs off on you and you realize that you owe it to them to tell a good story. As architects, we have the potential to build beautiful, well-composed places, large and small, that will not only accommodate our functional needs, but will serve as models which represent the best of our ideas. We have the power and the responsibility to shape new forms in the landscape, physical and spatial forms that will illuminate and will nourish and will poetically express our human qualities at their spiritual best. Architecture is invention is innovation, but it's also remembering. In the faculty documentary competition, the Best of Festival King Foundation Award winners are Dale Carpenter and Larry Foley from the University of Arkansas. For their entry, Sacred Spaces, The Architecture of Faye Jones. <laughs>